what you've just been watching the build is a combination lock. Um, it's a very simple one though. Now I didn't do, well I didn't watch any tutorials whilst doing this. The only videos I've seen on it are about two or three of them where I first um, decided that I wanted to do one. Obviously the video showed the redstone stuff at the back like they're showing them um, what things are needed and all that but I didn't use a full on tutorial to show them what to do with everything. I just basically figured out, well I just watched the videos to see what type of things I needed like um, RS and all latches and all that and then pretty much figured the rest out by myself and then compared it to other videos and got it right. Um, see I'll show you how it works, it's basically as I said normal combination like these are the three combination buttons, you can have more but I've just got three. It's got the master reset, um, door open and door close over there. So I've put the right combination in which at the moment is just three in a row and then go down to open door, the door will open and then you go down do what you want and then come back and then when you come back when you want to close the door you just close it but because that's already been put in the actual combination the door will always open when you press that one and always close when you push that so if you're going if you're on a server and you're going away and you don't want anyone else to get in unless they know the code you just hit the master reset button and then this won't open this won't do anything either um, so yeah that's that now let's do the wrong code let's just go like that that shouldn't open nope that doesn't do anything either <coughs> now the only problem with this design is because I've already pushed these buttons that one has already been activated because I've pushed it now if I just push them all again backwards now this one's been activated like immediately after this one and then say if the door doesn't open again I just go back and just press um, another random combination but now because all of the buttons have been pressed relatively after each other so in the first try I pressed that one in the second try eventually I press this one and in the third try I eventually press that one and um, without the system resetting the door will open and that will work so um, between each try it needs to reset automatically um, but I haven't got around to figuring that out yet so what I initially wanted to do is either once you press three buttons it either unlocks a door thing or like through a red um, a redstone torch going on indicating that you can press the button or it resets the system so you have to re-put the try or pistons open and kill you <laughs> <clears throat> but I'll show you the redstone. Um, now I do apologise because I'm probably going to say all this stuff wrong. But the the few videos that I watched to kind of give me an idea of what I need to really do. Um, the, the the terms that I'm going to use are the things that they were saying. So if I'm wrong, it means that they were wrong. Uh, I'm not going to do a tutorial on it at the moment. I'm not anyway because it took me so long to build this and um, it wouldn't really make any sense for me to do a tutorial on it because I don't really know that much about it so um, I'll just give it my best shot at explaining what things do so these are the three buttons in there and then when I press one, so I press this one and then it comes to this RS Nor latch I believe that's what it's called and then this wire gets activated turning this one off and then that will carry that signal over to here and then once I press that button it will do the same here and then carry it over and then once I press that button it will do the same here now if I press the first, if, if the first button I press is this one nothing will happen because this is still on because this one hasn't been switched around it hasn't been pressed um, this will just automatically go straight back off so you have to do them in the order and if I wanted to change the combination I could just cross the wires over and put them to the different uh, latches but on the last one, once this one's activated, uh, it comes over here onto this, which I think it's an AND gate. I believe it's an AND gate. Um, the way this works is, once all the buttons have been pressed in the correct order, this redstone torch goes off. But that won't do anything on its own. Um, so you have to press this button, which is the open door button, to turn this redstone torch off, which will turn this one on. 
and then seg send the signal to this RS NOR latch which uh, switches it so the door will open so the uh, current's on this side instead of this side and then this just goes back around to the door closed thing which will switch the current background which will reset this so the door will close but then all you need to do is open that again because this system doesn't reset unless you press this button over here and then this one just goes straight back to the first RS NOR latch resetting it all so um it's not too complicated I hope I've kind of explained it a good way um, again I'm not I'm not too good at redstone it took me literally about three days to do this um, quite a long time it's just because I kept like in the video I'll probably leave some of it in where I was where I was like doing stuff and then I'll just stand there for like a minute thinking about is it right or not and then I'll delete it all and then redo it again I kept redoing like I kept uh, knocking everything down and do it again because I keep getting everything wrong and nothing could work so um, I was getting frustrated and I kept quitting <laughs> but um, I'm pretty proud of myself again I didn't watch any tutorials on it if you're wondering why I use this blue thing it's because um, well, I, I really don't know <laughs> I actually don't know why I used the blue wall I just thought it was a bit different to the stone and I also changed these all this was a uh, stone but I couldn't see the button so I just put the blocks behind it but uh, yeah if you've got any questions let me know and I'll um, try to answer them as best I can even though I don't really know much about this type of stuff so yeah if you've got any questions let me know and I'll try and answer them but that is it thanks for watching and I will see you next time goodbye